Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be reviewing and ranking all nine Shining Pokemon cards. Now, Shining Pokemon cards were last seen in the Neo series of sets. Nowadays, Shining Legends also has the Shining Pokemon cards. Six different Shining Pokemon are available in that special expansion, and then there are three Shining Pokemon available as Black Star promos. Now these cards are very collectible and they're very beautiful looking, but this video is geared mainly towards the competitive TCG and the 2018 standard format. I've done a couple of videos just like this on my channel. I ranked and reviewed all the Prism Star cards, and then I showed the top 15 most competitive Ultra Prism Pokemon cards. So I would say the worst Shining Pokemon out of the nine out of the new sets here would be Shining Rayquaza. This is a Dragon type basic Pokemon, 120 HP, so it is a solid HP. It does have a high retreat cost. And then the reason that this is the worst Shining card in my opinion is because of its Sky Judgment move, just because it requires three different types of energy to use. Dragon Pulse does do 40 damage for one lightning energy and it says discard the top two cards of your deck. Doesn't make much sense to discard the top two cards of your own deck. And then Sky Judgment does do 190 damage which does major damage. Attach something like a Fighting Fury Belt to this card and it can knock out pretty much any card out there. But for four energy, it does require a lot of energy and it requires both fire and lightning type energy. So it will take a long time to set up. Plus, you really only can use this card once, the Sky Judgment attack, just because you must discard three energy from this Pokemon when using Sky Judgment. The eighth best shining card would be, one of my favorite looking shining cards would be Shining Ho-Oh. This is a Black Star promo SM70. This was available in the Shining Legends Elite Trainer box. It has an ability and a move. HP of 130, so a little bit higher than Rayquaza. Its ability, Golden Wing, says if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon and is knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack, move up to two basic energy cards from this Pokemon to your bunch Pokemon in any way you like. So this ability is very similar to Wishful Baton. Ideally, you would just attach a Wishful Baton to one of your bench Pokemon. Then if your active Pokemon gets knocked out, you can move the energy cards attached to that Pokemon to the bench Pokemon. Only one move on this card, which is very slow. Fire Blast for four energy cards does 110 damage. Plus, you have to discard an energy from this Pokemon. Now, this move really does require only three energy if you use a double colorless. And if you use a burning energy, when you discard an energy from this Pokemon, you can reattach it right away. So it is slow to set up, but it is a little bit quicker if you use those two special energy. The seventh best Shining card would be Shining Volcanion. This is from the Shining Legend set, HP of 130, so same HP as Ho-Oh. Two moves on this card, no ability. Dual Pump for three water energy. It says this attack does 50 damage to two of your opponent's Pokemon. And then Quad Smash for four colorless energy or two double colorless does 50 damage times the number of heads you get when you flip four coins. So potentially it could do 200 plus damage for two energy. So this card can both spread damage around and do major damage if you get some luck when flipping a coin. Now you can pair this with Aqua Patch to get energy on this card fairly quickly. So it can attack a little bit quicker than the energy costs indicate. The sixth best Shining card in my opinion would be Shining Arceus. This is also from the Shining Legend set. Same HP as the last two cards, 130. This card does have an ability as well as one move. Fable Defense is its ability. It says, as long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, prevent all damage done to your bench Pokemon by your opponent's attacks. So something like Buzzwool GX can attack your bench Pokemon. If you have Shining Arceus in that active Pokemon spot, it will prevent damage on your bench Pokemon. Unfortunately there, its weakness is a fighting type. So you are weak to Buzzwool GX. It will help your bench Pokemon, but it will get knocked out quicker when in the active Pokemon spot. Ultimate Arrow is the only move on this card for four colorless energy or two double colorless. It says this attack does 30 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. So if you are 
building a two hit knockout deck, something that can't do, you know, 180, 170 damage in one turn, more like 110. It may be helpful to use Shining Arceus once to spread damage around, similar to how Tapu Koko is used. Then when you put in that Pokemon, maybe a Zoroark GX, it can potentially knock out Pokemon in one move. Getting into the top five now, Shining Jirachi would be number five. This is from Shining Legends as well. A low HP on this card of 70. It is better than the 60 you see a lot of times, that way if you are facing a Buzzwool GX, it requires three attacks on the bench instead of two to get knocked out. Stellar Rain is its only move for one Psychic Energy. It does 10 damage and it says, if your opponent's active Pokemon is an evolved Pokemon, devolve it by putting all of the evolution cards on it into your opponent's hand. Now, if you are facing something like a Gardevoir GX, or if you're facing a metal type deck that has Magnezone on the bench, you can Guzma Shining Jirachi into the active Pokemon spot, put one of those two Pokemon in your opponent's active Pokemon spot, and then devolve those Pokemon. Hopefully, your opponent used Rare Candy to evolve those Pokemon. That way, they won't be able to directly evolve it the very next turn. They'll either have to get a Rare Candy into their hand or find the Stage 1 evolution of that Pokemon to get it evolved. Now, all four of these top four cards are very good, and these are more valuable Shining cards. The first cards that I showed, those five cards are all worth $5 or less a piece. Now these final four cards are all worth about $10 to $15 a piece. I would say the fourth best shining card would be Shining Mew. This is from the Shining Legends set. Disadvantage here is it does have a very low HP of only 30. It does have a free retreat cost to help. Two moves on it, Legendary Guidance and Beam. Legendary Guidance is the move you want to use. It allows you to search your deck for up to two energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. Then shuffle your deck. And then Beam does 10 damage for one Psychic Energy. So if you do have either Rainbow Energy or Psychic Energy in your deck, this is a card to consider just because it accelerates energy onto your Pokemon. The third best Shining card would be another card from the Shining Legends set, Shining Genesect. Now this is very good in grass type decks. Its ability is the main reason to use this card. 130 HP, so a strong HP. This is weak to fire type Pokemon, so something like Volcanion EX, Ho-Oh GX, and Turtonator GX you want to watch out for. Energy Reload is its ability. It says, once during your turn, you may move a grass energy from one of your other Pokemon to this Pokemon. So if this card is in your active Pokemon spot, you can quickly set it up, moving a Grass Energy card to this Pokemon. And then Gaia Blaster for three colorless energy cards does 50 damage plus 20 more damage times the amount of Grass Energy attached to this Pokemon. So for three Grass Energy cards, this move does 110 damage. And it is good to have a powerful attacker in your deck that is a non-GX or EX card, just so your opponent doesn't get two prize cards every time it knocks out one of your Pokemon. You can also combine this card with Venusaur from the Shining Legends set. That card has an ability which doubles the amount of Grass Energy attached to your Pokemon. So if you have three Grass Energy on Shining Genesect and Venusaur on your bench, it makes it seem like Gaia Blaster has six energy cards when attacking, therefore increasing the damage to 170. Add a choice band to this card, and it can do 200 damage per turn for only three grass energy. The second best shining card, in my opinion, would be Shining Lugia. Now this is a Black Star promo. It is one of two shining cards available in the Super Premium Collection box. This is Black Star promo number SM82. A solid HP on this card, similar to a lot of other shining cards, 130. Two moves on this card, both require only colorless energy. Argent Wing for three colorless energy cards does 60 damage. Plus, if your opponent's active Pokemon has an ability, this attack does 60 more damage. So it can do at least 120 damage for essentially two energy cards. And again, just like Shining Genesect, the advantage here is that if this card is knocked out, your opponent only gets one prize card instead of two. 
and then Aero Force does 130 damage for four colorless energy cards or two double colorless energy. The first move here is the move to use on this card. And this card fits in any type deck out there just because it is a colorless type card. And again, I would say these top four cards can really be arranged in any order. They are all very good. I would say the best shining card out there would be Shining Celebi. Now this is the other Black Star promo available in the Super Premium Collection box. SM79 is this card's number. A lower HP, but still solid an HP of 70, its ability is the reason to use the card. Its ability called Time Recall says each of your evolved Pokemon can use any attack from its previous evolutions. So that is a great ability there. You can just keep this card on your bench. That way if you've evolved any of your Pokemon, you can then use its previous moves. It really opens up a lot more attacks with your Pokemon. And then Leaf Step for two energy cards does 30 damage, but Time Recall is a great ability and definitely worth consideration when building any deck out there. If a stage one or a basic evolution form has a good move on it, you can still evolve that Pokemon, give it a higher HP, and then still be able to use the previous form's attacks. But overall, not only are these shining cards just beautiful to look at and very collectible, a lot of these are very good in the TCG as well. And an advantage here, they only give out one prize card when they are knocked out, and you can use up to four of any of these in a deck. So I can list all nine on the screen again, and you can see my rankings. If your opinion differs from mine, please let me know in the comment section of this video. So there you have it. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages. And stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.